Everybody. You know what we're doing today, Pete? We haven't done for a long time. It's an epic team! And we are also remembering to rem tell you to remember to like and subscribe. Please like and, and subscribe. hit the notification bell so you don't miss any now, uh, epic deals. So you don't miss any epic deals, Lee. This is called a TCG system. And uh, back in its day, which in fairness was a few years ago, <laughs> it was. The creme de la creme, um, most well thought out, feature packed, epic tool for a guitar player to use as a multi effects board. To or drawing, anything. Yeah. Yeah. N nothing from Line 6, Kemper didn't exist. You know, it's That's like. That's true. That's true. Uh, boss couldn't compete, nothing. This was the daddy. And they used to sell for about 13 or 1400 pounds. Yeah. Um, and to be honest with you, I've not seen or heard one anywhere in the store for the last five years or so. No. And then all of a sudden, about five or six weeks ago, we got a phone call from TC saying, um, got a bit of a deal for you on the, on the G system. We're like, what? We found some G systems I, lying I literally around. almost imagine that someone has found a pallet in a massive warehouse going, what's that? What's that, that cone over there? I'm not sure. It's behind oh, some. We've got a hundred G <laughs> systems on a pallet. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna. Honestly, I almost feel like before this video is finished, these will have been sold out. So I'm gonna tell you right now, this is two hundred and ninety nine pounds. <laughs> All right. It's so cute. Brand new <laughs> Love box. It. Yeah. There's about a hundred to sell. Um, See the things turning. The, selling, counting yeah, we down need that QVC, QVC thing. QVC counter. The, 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 <laughs> it's completely universal voltage. So wherever you are in the world, you just plug your IEC cable in, and it will detect your voltage and work. And Andertons uh, can ship to almost anywhere in the world. So check the links. You've got no them. excuse. No. So shall I go over? Did, kind did of. Did you say what the deal was? Two ninety nine. Did you say two ninety nine? I did say two ninety nine. I was gonna. I, it's so. It's. it's it's lunatic, deal. all right? So, back when this came out, the kind of concept of a really good sounding amp modeler didn't exist. They were just crap. It basically. was the Line 6, I think the Line 6 pod was there, wasn't yeah, it, back it, then? Yeah, we're talking 2007 or 2008, because I had one which I used on tours, yeah. and here is a photo of me mm. in a <laughs> stadium with this setup. There you go. So and there you go. I, and, I, and I kind of feel there's a reason why this still has a place today because it doesn't have old crappy amp modeling or distortion effects in it. There are no, uh, this does not, doesn't exist. No. All right? So there are several ways that you could use this, but it's really designed to be used with a guitar amplifier, right? Yeah. As opposed to just a standalone kind of DI thing into a desk, all right? Yep. So you absolutely can. Plug your guitar in the front of this, plug, come out the output, where is it, over here, into a single amplifier and just use it like a multi-effects device with, you know, modulation, pitch shifting, delay, reverb, all that kind of stuff, compression. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I think despite the fact that this unit is a few years old now, TC was so top of their game back then. There's like nothing that feels like any of the reverbs or delays or whatever or choruses are somehow better now than they were then. I really don't believe that. No. 
you've got four effects send and returns on the back of this we'll call them loops so imagine you know you guys are probably familiar with what boss do with the es range or what gig rig do with the the, the quarter masters and things like that yeah. or, or the g2 and g3 system it's yeah. kind of the same concept so what we've got here is a couple of pete's favorite drive pedals got a light speed going into loop one and an origin effects revival drive going into uh loop two uh, we're not using loop three but you absolutely can do um and we've got the unit set up in what's called the four cable method Okay, so that four cable method means that we're utilizing the front end of the guitar amplifier and we're utilizing the effects loop of the guitar amplifier. Yeah. So some of the effects are routed to go into the front of the amplifier like they would do, you know, like the loop effects are, the compression, stuff like that. And some of the effects are running through the effects loops of the amplifier. So um, your pitch shifting and delays and reverbs and stuff are going through the effects loop of the amplifier. Yeah. And just for creme de la creme, We've also gone Them. stereo as well, oh. which you don't need to do, but no. we're running through both the uh, the two clean mm -hmm. Victory amplifiers. I just, that's worth mentioning, the little P-split from Lele there on the top is actually just a little relay that can, if you've got any ground loop, ground hums, yep. whatever. So we've put that in there, because sometimes you get that. Yep. So that will cancel all yeah, that. I, in Perfect fact, you know what, thing. I feel like I should just show you. Okay, so we have a, in this particular studio, I'm sure anybody with a studio will be familiar, we have, too Earth, many, Earth too many things it. plugged into the same um, mains. Like. So the, the, the Lela does this. So without it, we would have that annoying background noise with it. We don't, which is kind of cool. Every guitar player with a studio or a touring rig should buy a Lela Please P Split. John Mayer uses one. Yes, well. he does. Um, it's completely <laughs> passive. Yeah, no it's just power. literally. Anyway, Super it's very, very cool. Yep. Right. So you heard Pete in that first bit kind of going through just presets. We literally haven't changed anything. But honestly, I can't tell you how intuitively wonderful this is to use. It's, it's, like, it's super so simple. good. Right. right. So you saw us basically going through preset mode. So you've got a bank up and down here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five along here. All right. Then you've got these uh, five buttons here are for effects. Sorry, these seven buttons. So filter, comp, mod, pitch, delay, reverb, boost are for built-in effects here. Yeah. Loop one, two, and three are for whatever you've looped in. Uh, and then over here, you've got tap tempo or a tuner. And also, for the loops, when you loop it in, there's actually nine volt outputs from the unit onto the pedals. Yes. So it's a complete self-containing unit. Now. It even gets better than that. <laughs> I honestly, Pete and I were talking, I honestly don't think that anything that has superseded this has actually done a better job of thinking what all different weird things a guitar player might want to do. Okay, so. It holds up this day, man. It does. Um, it really does. Can we, I don't know if we're going to zoom in or show a screenshot. You see yep. where all the, the sockets are on the back of this, this sort of black panel along here, MIDI, SP diff, all the various outputs that Pete just said. All right. That's actually a removable rack mounted um, 19, 19, unit, 19 inch, inch rack mount unit. Yeah. unit. So if you want to, you could rack mount that. Maybe you the might have it with a wireless unit, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You'd put the pedals that you wanted through the loops in your rack tray. So you'd have that all there. Yeah. And then you just need an RJ45 cable, which One doesn't come with it, so you've got to buy that as a separate thing. But yeah. again, you can buy that from anywhere. It's like yeah. a cheap you know, on eBay like or a, YouTube, um, uh, Amazon. Like a Cat5 type cable. Yeah, yeah, isn't it? yeah, network cable. And basically, this fantastic kind of foot switch becomes an external controller that you use on the floor. Yeah. Everything else is in your rack unit. I mean, it, I just think it's wicked. And the more yeah. Pete and I have kind of, I've re-familiarized myself with kind of how it worked, the faster I'm sort of going, oh yeah, so you do that to do that, and da da da. Even coolest thing, I would play a note, Pete. I was going, what's that bow tie that comes up here? I love the fact it has a permanent a display tuner. Tune on it. So, yeah. as well as being able to go into a tuner that you'd more typically expect, but how cool as a guitar player is it yeah. to know? All the time, yeah. You've got a visual respect. Anyway, look. I mean, for me, when I got it, I remember doing touring, and I spoke to someone, and they. Anyway, I, I bought one, and I got it, and it was, it's so easy mm. to use, and it just changes, it just changes your rig completely, because mm. it's. Anyway, I mean, this, this is how. Can I, I just say? Can I just be, yeah. tell you something I'm excited about now? Noticing those but buttons are 
this is a for me it's a touring grade rig with the buttons and the light how many units now do you see copying this light underneath the buttons yeah. it's it's everyone does that and th this is i almost I, I, I i'm seriously seriously kind of it's, I, 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 I get it. If you're a guitar player that, that doesn't want to take a guitar amplifier with you, I should, I should kind of, if you haven't kind of got this clear already, there's, there's no distortion effects and no amp modeling no, in here. So this is absolutely useless for a guitar player that wants to just take a floor pedal unit yeah. and give the sound man a DI. All right. It's for people who've got valve amplifiers or good, good sounding amplifiers that they like that love the idea of having all their multi effects, you can do your channel switching. Believe it or not, this channel can do switching. this can do up to four channels of channel switching. Yeah. So not just A B on an amplifier. You could have four different channels if you want. I had in my road, roadster, um, it's a boogie roadster head. You yeah. can switch between those four channels. I mean, click, click, click. when this came out, was the whole wet dry wet thing even a thing? Because must, yeah, of course it was. It because was they've got it here as yeah. a they've got the whole wet dry wet thing yeah. as a how you would set it up with this. I, again, I think it was they were trying to make something that would go on the floor instead of having a massive mm. rack unit with all of those, you know, the what was it, G major? What was all the effects unit you yeah. had in a, in a rack effect? So you would have this on the floor and yeah. then loop in your favorite pedals. Obviously, you've got two expression pedal inputs. One can do volume yeah. and the other is um, you can assign to any of the wah, wah, effects in here. All that yeah. stuff. Um, it was just, I mean, I'll get Pete to go through some more of the presets and stuff. Just to give you a quick whiz through, though. And also, half it's of me feels solid like metal, man. It's oh, yeah, just, it's, it's solid. It's a piece uh, of solid. So we've got filters, touch resonant filters, auto filters, wah wahs, touch wahs, auto wahs. We've got an effect called formant, which I thought was a type of icing that went on a cake, but obviously not. <laughs> uh, we've got compressors, the... <laughs> different types of compressors. We've got classic chorus, advanced chorus, flanger, classic flanger, advanced flanger, oh, vibrato, yeah. vintage phaser, smooth phaser, tremolo. Panna, pitch shifter, octava, whammy, 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 detune, whammy, whammy, <laughs> intelligent pitch shifting. Wow, it's more intelligent than I am. <laughs> uh, delay, um, tape delay, ping pong delay, lo fi delay, reverse delay, dynamic delay, dual delay, all kinds yes. of delay. Uh, Every kind of reverb you can imagine, EQ, noise gates, goodness yeah. me. I compressors. mean, compressors. It's, like, it's got all of the stuff, man. Oh, yeah, compressors. And fit the filter switch. I think, I yeah, I think you said that. But. And then, but isn't the greatest thing ever? Everyone has got their favorite drive yes. pedal. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no, you ask 20 different guitar players what your favorite drive pedal is, and they'll give you 20 different answers. So, of course, yeah. it's perfect because mm -hmm. you just loop in your. Yeah. Right. Wait a minute. So, I'm just going to literally go through. I, I kind of feel like. There's not a great deal left to tell you. If you no. want to know a very technical, specific question, then dive on over to the TC website. There's loads of FAQs and detailed stuff. There will there. be from 2013 you know, yeah. and when um, there was an update on it. But. What else? USB. USB is just for doing firmware updates. Yeah. This comes with the latest firmware installed out the box. And I suspect, given the That's, fact that this is end of line, there probably isn't going to be another yeah. upgrade to this. Yeah. So you probably don't have to worry. Unless about somebody's that. hacked it and does something like little tool on something you can find. Google is your friend. So for that stuff. Look, forums. I mean, but isn't this great? We've just called up a preset. Oh, I should tell you as well. There are two hundred locations for you to store your own presets in. <laughs> presets can be obviously any combination of the effects you want. Do you want the loops on or off? Do you do you want amp switch settings to certain things? It's like relay switching. Or there's so much. Stuff in that thing mm. it's they they did nail it back then so i love the fact that you can take the the, the rack unit out of the floor pillow I mean, no one has done that before and no one's done it oh, since. This, uh, dan does it with the g3 and the 2 system you can buy an extra uh, setting okay. like that but th it, that's now so what we're saying is that even dan steinhardt stole an idea from the g system <laughs> <laughs> he probably didn't Wait a minute. anyway it is a great uh, okay great let's have system. a listen to some more stuff so
Is it just worth mentioning I'm playing Heritage? Uh, I've almost said Haribo there, but that's of course not <laughs> playing <it> Haribo. <laughs> An Ace Five Two Five. Kids and parents love them so. Yeah, the uh, juicy taste of uh, Heritage guitars. <laughs> See when there's a little star in the display there. I know it's a bit of an old-fashioned yes. display, but you know, Kemper still used that display, I think. Probably. So something like that. So you know, when there's a little star, there, that means that the there will be assigned a uh, an expression yep. feature to uh, that. Do you know what I will show you is? Oh, it sounds great. I'll show you how easiest this is. We we'll put some reverb on. We've turned all the reverb off the amplifiers and yep. everything like that. So if I want to edit something again, I kind of feel like I get that perhaps. That is something on modern devices like uh, the new neural quad cortex, for example, where they're using touch screen and yeah, it kind of super feels simple. like. But I don't think this is so. I press my edit button. Boom. Oh, there you go. Look. Like the dials on the buttons are dials. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, I'm, that's what yeah. I'm going to get to. <laughs> so um, I can, using the. See this? Look, the loop. These top row. Sorry, these uh, one, two, three, four, five are. And the filter as well is. It's a twist. Oh, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, these, all... these are actually twisty knobs as well as switches. Twisty so, anyway, knobbies. so I find the uh, effect that I actually wanted to adjust the reverb there. So, or I could adjust, actually, I'll adjust the tremolo. So, um, so we find, we go to the modulation, press enter. So then I've got here speed, de uh, speed tempo, and depth. So mm -hmm. it, says, it says edit A, edit B, edit C. Well, that's A, B, and C. These are these controls. So if I want to adjust the speed, I just have to do it with that hand so you can see the. Bish, bosh, bash. Done. Now, if I want to. If I want to save that, I press this hold to store. There was this one weird thing. So yeah. you've got, um, I think you've got about a hundred factory presets. And again, we're not going to have time to go through all of these, but there's some Ooh. great artist inspired ones there, about a hundred of those. And what happens if you want to store that, it won't let you overwrite this a or B bank, it forces you into like a user bank. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of, I think if once you start What's a little bit annoying there is, let's say you actually like the first 10 presets and there's just one that you want to edit. You What you have to do is, is kind of transfer those 10 presets over to the user banks yeah. um, so that you... I probably haven't explained that terribly well, but if you buy one, you'll 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 soon realise what I mean. It's just yeah. one of the things that's a bit annoying that you can't overwrite a factory preset. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Uh, so Maybe that somebody's got tremolo, a sneaky workaround. Filtered for chopper. Get in the chopper. Instant no peat switch. It's like that's worth a thousand pounds on its own. Um, uh, you need one of these for home. Oh, look, Albert Lee. One. I think this is Albert Lee as opposed to something to do with me. Yeah. When, when was the last time you saw a Hank Marvin preset? On that one, yeah. Let's see what lots of yeah, 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 lots of. <laughs> it's from 
from uh, Wes Montgomery's forthcoming... Um... What's it called, Wes Montgomery? Yeah. I can't see it. <laughs> Where is he? We could literally go on all day with this, but I yeah. kind of feel like if you're not convinced that 299 quid for one of these is good value by now, then no amount of extra demos will help you with that. Just to give you an idea of the sort of age of this product, look, this was back when you got manuals on CDs. Yay! Um, I, I said, I really like it. I think if you've got a good, well, not even, just if you've got a really nice amplifier, you kind of feel like you want to get into multi-effects, but you're not really interested in um, amp modeling and all that kind of stuff. You still want to utilize the, mm -hmm. the, the tone of your good amplifier. Get one. And, and honestly, TC, kind of like, revisit this, please, TC. Yeah, like, I would love them to do this. I, I kind of feel like, you know, Kemper and, and Neural and Axe Effects and Helix, they're all doing their thing for the person that doesn't want an amp anymore. Yeah. But for the person who does want an amp, yeah. but just wants, I think there's... I guess that the X5, the Plethora X5 is kind of that, that is going that direction a little bit. Has but it, it doesn't have inputs. It? I don't think it had loops in it. But mm. you but are right. You, that would be a thing. But you still, if you had four loops on the top there, or four loops, whatever, mm. and then something like this, I don't even mind if it's this, if there's this size, because that's a touring kind of yeah. size. You know it's going to be. You, you know, know. Actually, yeah, I, here's a picture of the rig I used when we first started doing Tom Jones. Here it is, and that's actually that is that rig and that helmet. It's in that room here that's sitting on top of that amp. That was brand new back then. Well, that was your my, German my, guitar tech, my, wasn't it? My helmet no, on oh, there. Oh, that helmet. No, okay, helmet. Sorry. No, no, that, yeah, that was in... Uh, in, a, in <laughs> Wait a minute! Maybe this better than the MA5. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. There Wait, this are reverb pedals. pedals. There are reverb pedals on the market today for more than this is on offer for that are no better. Look, I'm done. Not I'm saying, done. but this is 350 quid. And that's what I'm. That is what I'm saying. I mean, I think that's a killer, killer reverb oh, no, no, pedal. No, and all that it's kind amazing. Of stuff, but because technology has moved on a lot. This right? was still. Tw this is 24 bit though, right? Yeah, 24 bits, 96k. 24 bits. Well, it hasn't moved on that much it's more then, has it It's got two DSPs really? in there to do all the stuff. Wait a minute! So, <clears throat> 2 dollars uh, including VAT. So if you live in the UK, you're going to pay 2 dollars and the shipping is free. If you live outside the UK, the VAT will come off of the price of this in checkout, so it'll drop to 2 dollars uh, But then you pay whatever the international shipping charge is, plus your yeah. local uh, VAT. Nothing uh, to do with us, any. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> and a small... Um, like a duty charge of about 3%, I think. So I, I still would be surprised if something like this into um, Europe or the US is costing you more than um, 20 or 30 pounds more than what it would cost a, a British customer. And you probably can't even get them second hand for that. Anyway, you can't. There no, you, you go. Can't. You I checked on eBay before mm, we did yeah, the yeah. deal with TC. I thought, yeah, well, yeah. am I making a mistake ordering all these? And I looked on eBay and they were four or 500 quid second yeah. hand. Yeah. Boom. What? There you go. So we've just ruined the second hand market, obviously, for the G system. <laughs> so apologies if you're trying to sell your old G system on eBay at the moment. No, um, no, hang, hang on to that price because that once these goes out and then you yeah. know, that will be it. That's so. what it is. Someone will, it'll be like Somebody PlayStation 5. Someone will just buy them all and then they'll be 500 pounds on eBay. Anyway, look, hey, that's <laughs> hey, it. Thank hey. you very much, Pete, for uh, Thank your you, delightful, delectable playing. Thank this you guys morning. for watching uh, our epic deal bonanza. Bye. Wait a minute! As in Gene Tennis at the play? Uh,